what is the misery of the estate wherein to men fell? All mankind, by their fall, lost their communion with God. And this is the first thing. When, when, um, when our ancestors, Adam and Eve, the earliest ancestors fell, um, they lost communion with God. Do you know the word communion is an intimate word? It is not just like uh, communion, what we commonly understand. We go to church on Sunday morning, you take communion. That communion is sacred, okay? Um, but uh, but that, that thing, this communion here is far bigger than just uh, this is the ordinary communion, okay? So this is this is a huge thing. Um, so, question 19, right? Genesis 3, 8 says this, And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. He lost it. You see that? The first, first of all, they were in constant communion with God the Father. God, the Lord Jesus Christ. They could communicate with God. God would walk in the cool of the garden talking to them, you see. In fact, that's what uh, God did looking for them. Um, they could hear God. Essentially, they could see God face to face before the fall. That's called communion. That's called intimacy with God. The word communion actually means uh, relational communion uh, with intimacy. Intimacy is the very core foundation of Christianity, really. I mean, the whole church is going to be a bride to the groom, who is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Lord Jesus is going to be the bridegroom. So it is it's so relational. It's not just relational. It's a, such an intimate relation. It's husband and wife relation. Uh, it goes beyond that. Because many people don't understand. Um, for, for instance, the, uh, the earthly marriage that we see today. Okay, this is, this is a to the real marriage, eternal marriage between Christ and the church. It's amazing, right? How's it going to look? I have no idea, but you can sort of speculate the, uh, the joy and the peace and uh, everything, the love one will experience in eternity is, is rapturous. That's the word, rapturous. All right. Um, and uh, and then this is why it is so astounding that uh, anybody would not know by being Christian you you entered into a communion with with God that in an unprecedented way, unsurpassed way. There is no religion in the world that can give you that intimacy relationship. What's it going to look like? In a prayer, daily, you actually talk to a God who speaks back to you through His Scriptures. And not only that, the, the Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit conviction inkling in your heart. Okay? And uh, you can constantly refresh yourself and draw strength from Him. Not only draw strength from Him, but He's actually interceding for you now in the heavenly realm on on his throne in the heavenly throne and uh, so that is called intimacy so when adam and and eve fell okay that's the word let's see um okay so all men all mankind by their fall lost communion with god 
red there, right? Rush 24 as well, let's see. Okay. Uh, verse 19, okay. Where the heck is this? Okay, so under his wrath and curse, and Ephesians, Ephesians 2, 2, two to 3, in which he one, once walked. Okay, let's just stop with this communion first, this first video, and I'll carry on second video.